Hey, it's going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a minute and this is the first, really first video of 2024. And what today's about is about females or males not feeding. And there's tons and tons of things you can actually try to get your animals feeding. Uh, and I want to sort of share some of the the not so obvious one with you that a lot of people are actually missing and that is hydration. Hydration is key for your animals to feed. Now, a lot of animals will get their, uh, their water intake via their food. However, they also require a lot of humidity where they can take in the humidity into their body, which will obviously help them to go on and feed. So dehydration or hydration is a key into making sure your animals feed. And this is often one that is overlooked. And I'll get hundreds of messages saying, hi Gav, I've tried to get my animal feeding and it's not feeding. What can I do to get it feeding? You know, they've tried everything. They've tried mice, rats, ASFs. They've tried scenting. They've tried frozen thaw. They've tried pre-kill. They've tried live, whatever. And it's still not feeding. Now, there are obvious times of the year, like the breeding season, where obviously they tend to just worry about breeding. They're not really interested in feeding. Sometimes getting your animals to breed will encourage a feeding response. Also, the males may not want to feed during breeding season. So what I tend to do, I tend to wind their feeding schedule back instead of feeding once a week, I feed twice a week and I instead of going from like a 40 or 50 gram ASF I drop it down to a 20 gram ASF and I find that they're happy with that and it keeps them ticking over. Now back to hydration or dehydration. Dehydration is a massive factor uh, with bull pythons that a lot of people don't even realise and you can feel this sometimes within the snake so when you pick the snake up it may feel a bit smooth if you like to your touch so the animals running through your hands and it's pretty smooth you go and pick up an animal which is hydrated and it's sort of there's a bit of resistance there as it's going through your hands the other thing you can do is the pinch test where you pinch the skin of the actual snake and see how fast it sort of goes back uh, the elasticity actually in the snake and this is a, another way again with mammals we do it all the time with humans pinch the skin to see how hydrated or dehydrated you are. You can also do this with your ball pythons. So how do you get your ball python hydrated? So there's a number of things you can do to get your animal hydrated. One of that is to make sure that the water bowl obviously is full on a regular basis. Now that will raise the humidity in the tub but it may not raise it enough. What you need to do is you really need to give that animal a good 24 to 48 hours worth of high humidity to rehydrate that animal. And the way you do that is by soaking down the bedding. I'm not talking about a light misting. I'm not talking about a little spray. I'm talking about soaking down the bedding. So what you're gonna do is raise that humidity very high between 80 and 100% humidity for the next 24 to 48 hours. And that will really hydrate your animal. Now, there is another way you can hydrate your animal and that is to give it regular soaks in a little tub. So you get a tub, you fill it with uh, lukewarm water, not too hot, not too cold, and you allow your animal to sit in that tub maybe up to waist height so don't fill it too much you want it so the animal is partially submerged okay probably no no more than half the body uh, is submerged and you want to leave it in there for about 20 to 40 minutes obviously depending on your room depending on the temperature and where it is all that sort of stuff so you need to take that into consideration giving it a good soak will obviously help it hydrate now if you haven't got that particular time or you're worried about it sort of being too cold in the tub or the water going too cold 
like I said, you can use their original enclosure and raise the humidity that way. That way it's really gonna give you a sense of, you know, don't have to worry about it, the humidity is raised. The animal then is taking on all the moisture that it needs to hydrate. So hydration or dehydration is a massive cause of animals not eating, especially this time of year when we hit in the winter, the air changes, if you like it, it and we feel this as well as humans. We feel that, that, that oh, it's a little bit cold and the air's a little bit drier and it will certainly dry up and you think your humidity is good and you'll, you'll know you're, you've got some sort of uh, humidity issues is because typically when the weather changes, you tend to get animals that go through bad sheds. It's not necessarily the humidity in the tub. It's actually that the animal is slightly dehydrated because when it goes to into a shed, it puts a line of fluid to sort of soften that skin to get it off. Now, if that fluid's not there, they will still go into shed, but they will, won't shed very well. You know, you'll get it in pieces everywhere. It happens, it is what it is, it's nothing, you know, not to worry about it, but this will also make the animal go off food if it's dehydrated. Key tip for today is to hydrate your animals, raise the humidity from uh, for, for like 24 to 48 hours, and you will certainly feel the difference. Feel the snake before you hydrate it, and then feel it afterwards. You'll feel a bit of resistance in your hand as opposed to it before, where before you've hydrated it, it will sort of slide through your hand pretty easy. This is an easy thing to do, guys. It costs you nothing, and it's also a great thing to do just for the health of the animal as well. Raise that humidity, and it will definitely help your animal go back on food. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's give you something else to try. Uh, like I said, these are animals at the end of the day. They cannot tell us what's wrong, we've got to kind of use our guesswork. And a lot of the times people try everything to get the snake feeding. The one thing they forget is hydration. But for now guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please smash that like button, give me a sub, that'd be absolutely amazing. Please hit that notification bell so you don't miss any uploads. But for now guys, I hope you're all well. I hope you're enjoying the 2024 season uh, as it's kicking in. Uh, but for now, take care and I'll see you guys on the next one.